in simplifying these types of rational expressions that we're going to be working on today, you need to uh, use your factoring techniques that you have learned in the previous chapter. So my rational expressions here are grouped into two, the ones that are in simplest form and the one that's not in simplest form. So the first two examples that I have, x over x minus 1 and x plus 3 over m, they're both simple or in simplest form because there's nothing more to simplify on the numerator and on the denominator. And for letter, or this second group right here, we have x squared over x and 2 times x minus 3 all over 5 times x minus 3. These are still not in simplest form because we can still simplify these rational expressions to get our simplest form of the expressions. Now, for my first two examples of rational expressions that we are going to simplify, we're going to use our factoring technique on pulling out the greatest common factor in your expressions in the numerator or in the denominator or even both to be able to simplify the expression. So for letter A, the first thing that you need to do is to check which one can be simplified. Are you simplifying the top or the bottom? So in this case, we're simplifying the top because 25x plus 10 can be simplified by pulling out 5 as your greatest common factor. So if you pulled out a 5, the numbers or the expressions inside will be left with 5 divided by 25x is 5x and 5 divided by 10 is 2. So now you, are, you only have 5x plus 2 in your parentheses. And for the denominator, since we are not simplifying it, we're just copying it as 5x plus 2. And if you'll notice, 5x plus 2 and 5x plus 2 can be canceled out. And you are left with 5. So therefore, 25x plus 10 over 5x plus 2 can be simplified into 5. Now for letter B, I have 3x plus 9 over 2x plus 6. Now check which numerate which one can you simplify the numerator or the denominator so in this case you can simplify both of them so for the numerator 3x plus plus 9 has a greatest common factor of 3 and you have x plus 3 in your parentheses after pulling it out so 2x plus 6 your greatest common factor is 2 and inside the parentheses you're left with x plus 3 and we can cancel x plus 3 and x plus 3 and we are left with 3 over 2 and that's how we simplify rational expression using factoring. Now, on the second group of examples that I have, we're going to use the factoring technique in simplifying quadratic equations. So the first step is to check which one can you simplify, the numerator or the denominator. And in this case, we can simplify the numerator. So the numerator is x squared plus 6x plus 5. Using the big X method, think of a number that when you multiply together will be 5, but when you add them up will be 6. And in this case, the factor will be 5 and 1. So we have x plus 5 and x plus 1 is a factor of x squared plus 6x plus 5. Since the denominator is already in simplest form, we're just copying it. And in the process, we can cancel x plus 1 and x plus 1. So we are left with x plus 5. And for number 2, we have a different quadratic equation which is more complex than the first one. The reason why it's more complex is because the leading coefficient is 2. So in the previous lesson that we did, we already learned how to simplify a quadratic equation like this. And for 2x squared plus 7x plus 3, its factor will be 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. And for the denominator, it's just x plus 3, so you're copying it. And x plus 3 and x plus 3 can be canceled out. Now you have 2x plus 1 as your simplest form. And that's how we use factoring quadratics technique on simplifying the two groups of equations or expressions. Now the next set of techniques that we're going to use in factoring will be squares of binomials. Now in factoring, if we have x squared minus y squared, you can factor it out into x minus y times x plus y. And we're going to use this pattern in factoring some of the expression in our example. So for number one, we have m squared minus 9 all over m plus 3. We can simplify the numerator by using the squares of binomials. So we have m plus 3 times m minus 3. And the denominator is m plus 3, so we're copying it. And now we can cancel m plus 3 and m plus 3, giving us with m minus 3 is a leftover. So 
m squared minus 9 over m plus 3 can be simplified into m minus 3. Now for the second example, we're using two factoring techniques. One is square of binomials, and the denominator, we're going to use uh, factoring using quadratic equations or expressions. So we have x squared minus 25, which is x plus 5 times x minus 5. And for the denominator, x squared plus 8x plus 15 can be simplified into x plus 3 times x plus 5. And we can cancel x plus 5 and x plus 5. Now we are left with x plus 3 and x minus 5. So that will be our simplest form. And these are the examples that we have in simplifying rational expressions using factoring techniques.